Let us look into a basic structure of a suku. In case of a suku, there is a party which is looking for additional funds for any legitimate reason. For example, it is in need of money to expand the business or it is in need of money to take care of its liquidity position i.e. isse kisi baja se paison ki zarurat pad gai hai. So, party A in this case owns an asset and this asset could be any Sharia compliant asset. Normally, the obligors is party A ko obligor bhi kehte hai. So, normally an obligor would have a property or a piece of land or a machinery plant, karkhana, etc. So, party A which owns this asset, business and as part of this business one asset, it is looking for raising fund for its business activity. It does not want to issue equity. Bahut zyada businesses, they do not want to issue equity because equity issuing more equity would dilute their ownership rights into the business. Or ye company could bond be issue ni karna chahti for Sharia reasons. The shareholders of this company are very religious. They do not want to get involved in any Sharia repugnant activity. Hence, they decide to issue a sukuk. The first step in issuing a sukuk is to set up an SPV. Pehle bhi main bata chuka hun, SPV stands for Special Purpose Vehicle. Ye ek aisi company hoti hai, jiska koi apna karobar nahi hota, aur ye ek khas maksad ke liye banai jati hai. Main pehle bata chuka hun, ki ye SPV normally is domiciled in an offshore jurisdiction. Ye ek offshore company hoti. Theek hai? So, the party A which owns an asset sets up an SV, SPV which is administered by separate trustees. Although party A actually starts the process of setting up the SPV, but it does not have any meaningful control on it. So, party A sells this asset to SPV. So, this is step number two. Step one, SPV is set up. Step two, party A sells its asset to SPV. Ab ye jo SPV thi, jisne wo asset khareed liya tha, wo us asset ko party A ko lease bhi kar deti hai, taake party A usko use karti rahe. Of course, for that use, party A would be paying rentals to SPV. This SPV is central to sukuk structures. This actually issues sukuk. Baaz okaat, naam se log dhoka kha jate hain. Party A ka naam agar ho ABC Holdings and if it wants to raise money through a sukuk structure and the sukuk are issued by SPV, un sukuk ka naam jo hai wo ABC Holdings sukuk rakha jata hai normally and people sometimes say that oh this sukuk is issued by ABC Holdings. No, from legal viewpoint, the SPV issues sukuk which are then sold to the investors. Ab ye investors banks bhi hote hain, other financial institutions hote hain, individuals bhi ho sakte hain. Jab wo sukuk certificates kharitte hain, to paise SPV ke paas jate hain. SPV which has bought this asset from party A, is ki price ke taur pe wo paise party A ko de deti hain. Is tara party A ka maksad paise raise karne ka pura ho jata hai. Investors are actually looking for some return. That return comes from party A 
in the form of rentals. Remember, SPV had leased the asset back to party A. So, party A pays frequent rentals on a quarterly basis, on a six monthly basis, or on an annual basis. These rentals are then paid to the investors and they become the return of the Sukuk holders on their investments. At the end, if this Sukuk was issued for three years, at the end of the period, three years period, SPV then sells the asset back to party A. Or wo jo kimat usko milti hai, wo kimat wo sukuk holders ko wapas kar deti hai. Is tara sukuk holders, they receive their capital sum back and during the period of the sukuk, they earn returns. Main point, sukuk is all about using an asset by way of selling it to raise funds. Abhi tak ki story ye hai. Kuch cases mein ye asset nahi hoga. And we would go into those details. An arrangement like leasing is used to pay regular returns to investors. The asset is then sold back to the fund raiser to redeem sukooks. Redeem sukook ka matlab ye hota hai ke sukook holders apne paise wapas le le. 